Hello, this is a mini lecture on the thematic paradigm and the semiotic analysis Heroes of the Simpsons. So we're talking about the essay The Thematic Paradigm by Robert B. Ray. And a paradigm is an example that serves as a model or a pattern. Therefore, a thematic paradigm refers to themes that serve as models or patterns. Ray is discussing the themes in the heroes that we tend to see in American film. He begins by explaining the theory by psychoanalyst Eric Erickson that American personalities are drawn to some tentative combination of dynamic polarities. By this, Erickson means that our personalities are made of opposite traits. For example, we are strong yet sensitive, traditional yet open to change, outgoing yet sometimes shy, and so on. And Ray tells us that we see such opposites in movie characters. He discusses two main types of heroes we often see, the outlaw hero and the official hero. So first talking about the outlaw hero, this hero appeals to that part of the American imagination valuing self-determination and freedom from entanglements. For example, many of these heroes are adventurers, wanderers, loners, and so on. This hero is childish and has a propensity to whims, tantrums, and emotional decisions. Adults try desperately to postpone responsibilities by clinging to adolescent lifestyles. And this hero has a distrust of civilization, typically represented by women and marriage. Women are avoided as representing the very entanglements this tradition seeks to escape. Society, the settled life, continuing responsibilities. Women are taboo except as the objects of lust. The outlaw hero is ambivalent about the law and has a sense of the law's inadequacy. His motto, I don't know what the law says, but I do know what's right and wrong. Moving on to the official hero, the official hero represents the American belief in collective action and the objective legal process. Thus, many of these heroes are teachers, lawyers, police officers, family men. The official hero is mature, has sound reasoning and judgment, wisdom and sympathy based on experience. This hero is worldly, comfortable in society, devotes themselves to proper dress, manners, and behavior, the settled life, and responsibility. His mottos, we are a nation of laws, not men. No man can place himself above the law, and you cannot take the law into your own hands. So we're going to apply this information to our semiotic analysis assignment. Ray's categories of heroes can also be used as a critical framework to analyze television. For instance, the animated series The Simpsons features characters that don't readily fit Ray's two main categories of hero. So you're going to choose one Simpsons family member Actually, it doesn't have to be a family member. It could be another main character on the show. You will invent a third type of hero to accommodate this character. You'll analyze his or her characterization over any two episodes of the series. Decide what unique type of hero this person is, and then you'll give that hero type a name. Make a claim about the qualities and traits of your hero type. That's going to be your thesis. 
Your essay will explain how your chosen character fits this third category. Support your claim by citing evidence, including quotations of dialogue from any two episodes of The Simpsons. You also need to cite Ray's essay and cite at least one credible outside source, preferably from the Chafee Library, so then you know that it is credible. So here's Lisa Simpson. We will use her as our example. You may choose to write about Lisa, but you must make different points than those you see here and in the peer review PowerPoint. Lisa Simpson is part official hero in that she has sound reasoning, she's responsible, she has proper dress, manners, and behavior. But she is also part outlaw hero in that she is not comfortable in society and she believes in taking the law into her own hands if necessary. So we are going to name her hero type the sensitive crusader hero. And some of her character traits one is she cares about animals, and an example that shows that is she becomes a vegetarian and tries to convert others. Another character trait is she can go overboard in her caring. An example of that is she steals a pig that her dad was going to cook. And both of these examples are from the episode Lisa the Vegetarian. A third character trait is she cares about women's rights and equality. And examples of that, she hates the Malibu Stacy doll, and she creates her own smaller doll, Lisa Lionheart. And both of those examples are from the episode Lisa vs. Malibu Stacy. So from all of that, we come up with a possible thesis statement. Lisa Simpson possesses some traits of the official hero and some of the outlaw hero, but her caring, passion, and desire for equality make her a third type of hero, the sensitive crusader. So now, here is a possible outline of the body paragraphs of our essay. So we'll have our introduction with a thesis statement at the end, and then we move into a brief description of the official and outlaw hero traits that Lisa possesses. Here's where we're going to cite Ray. We'll talk about her caring trait, discuss why she decides to become a vegetarian, how her family reacts, how she imagines a lamb chop begging her not to eat it, how she makes gazpacho for the barbecue. We will include quotations of Lisa from the episode Lisa the Vegetarian, so quotations of things that she actually says. And we'll include a quotation from a credible outside source, something about Lisa's personality. Then we'll move on to discuss, discussing her trait of passion. We'll discuss how her dad and brother drive her to steal the pig from the barbecue. We will, again, include quotations of Lisa from the episode Lisa the Vegetarian. Then, perhaps in the next paragraph, we'll still talk about passion, but we're going to look at it in the other episode. So we'll discuss her disdain for the Malibu Stacy doll. We'll include quotations of Lisa from the episode Lisa vs. Malibu Stacy. We'll possibly include one more quotation from the outside source if we find a relevant one. And then the last trait is her desire for equality. So in this section, we'll discuss how she hears Malibu Stacy's unintelligent phrases and gets angry discuss how she decides to create her own doll, 
describe Lisa Lionheart doll and the public reaction to it, and we'll describe Lisa's reactions. And among that, we will include quotations of Lisa from the episode Lisa versus Malibu Stacy. So quotations of things that she actually says. And we might possibly include one more quotation from the outside source. And that is how you will go about doing this essay. Thanks.